What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another tutorial for the Motorola Atrix 4G. Uh, today I'll be talking to you about how to enable tethering without actually adding a tethering package to your data plan. A lot of you feel, probably feel the same way as I do. If we're already paying for data, don't try to moderate how we use it. Uh, in my personal opinion, it would be in their best interest to allow us to use tethering because I believe a lot of people would end up having overages and paying for the additional money anyhow. So, anyways, um, today we'll show you how to do that. So, we got our Atrix, and you have to forgive me. I'm actually I've actually caught a small bug, so I know my voice sounds kind of funny and uh, blurry, but that's the best I can do for right now. Uh, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to add an additional APN, uh, which is an access point name. So we click settings, settings, and then we'll go to wireless and networks, and then we'll go to mobile networks access point names and we can see what we've currently got currently we have AT&T US uh, US HS DPA US Tether and US MMS now if you look very 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 closely you'll see that there's a small lock uh, beside each one just to the left of my finger there what we're gonna do is add a new APN that is unlocked so click the settings button and say new APN now we've got a ton of fields to fill in We'll start with the name field, which will be AT&T. Don't laugh at my typing. I know I suck. And uh, I just wanted to walk through this with you step by step. So AT&T. Uh, the APN will be WAP at singular. That's W-A-P um, dot singular. <clears throat> now all this info is going to be in the link below <clears throat> on my site as well. And uh, this couldn't be possible without Fixter from XDA, so we would like to say thank you to Fixter. Proxy, we will leave blank. Port will be 80. Username will be WAP at singular GPRS.com, all caps. Now this is uh, something that a lot of us have seen uh, in tethering over the years, is these same usernames and same passwords. So uh, it's really no surprise as to how this works. Uh, it, like I said, once again, thanks to Fixter for really uh, pointing this out. So, WAP at SingularGPRS.com. And um, then we've got Singular1 for the password, all caps. Remember, this stuff is case sensitive, so be sure that you do this correctly. And uh, that's Singular1 for the password, and it shows up as plain text so you can double check it. Server will leave blank. The MMSC, we will type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash MMSC dot singular dot com. Taking my time, no need to make a lot of typos. So double check all your work. You don't want to be sitting here forever trying to figure this out. Now obviously you've already seen that if you try to start tethering, it's going to do some verifying and it's going to kick you off tethering. And uh, so I avoided that step because you already know what it looks like. Uh, for the proxy for MMS, we will go with wireless.singular.com. Jeez, I missed that. Yeah, I learned to type. I know, I know. So it's wireless.singular.com. I actually should be doing this in landscape. It's much easier. But uh, port 80 for the MMS port. The uh, MCC will stay as 310. The MNC will stay as 410. Authentication type, we will leave blank. APN type, we will also leave blank. Now click the settings button at the bottom and say save. Now we can see that we've got our AT&T new one that we've uh, created. We want to select that and then press the home button. Now I'm going to set the phone down, allow you to catch up. I'm going to grab another mobile device that has no SIM card in it and show you how we can tether this phone to connect the other phone and use this phone's data for the other phone's wireless connectivity. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I've got my phone uh, to test with. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this and I'm going to go ahead and set the screen to not fall asleep and uh, show you what this is going to look like. First we need to turn on the wireless tethering. Now this option that we just added will enable wireless as well as USB tethering. So click settings, settings, wireless network and then we'll see mobile hotspot 
and um, from there we'll actually be able to uh, to do our tethering. So if we went to mobile hotspot, we would actually see this here, and uh, we would want to turn it on. Say OK. It's just going to give you some warnings about data usage and battery life and whatnot. So now it's going to validate the hotspot and verify account status. Setting up the data link, and eventually this is going to go blue. Data link is set up, Wi-Fi hotspot connected. Now previously that would have bounced back and said no go guys, you've got to have 611 and you've got to set up tethering package. Well not anymore, now we've done this. So now we want to go into our settings and we're just going to not use uh, any uh, WPA2 uh, pre-shared key uh, security. We're going to leave this open for simplicity's sake. I've named my SSID Josh underscore Atrix. We'll say save and we'll go home. Now I'm going to put this phone into the screen while I set the other one aside. This is a T-Mobile Vibrant running a custom ROM and there is no SIM card in this. As you see right there up top, that's a no SIM card logo. So now we'll go to the wireless settings on this and we'll see if we can see it. There it is, Josh Atrix full signal and it's open, we'll connect. So we're going to obtain an IP address and we are connected. Now if you're doing this on the PC for the first time, uh, keep in mind that it's going to take a while to uh, acquire the network address and validate it, but once it does it'll be very quick from there on out. Okay, so we have now obtained an IP address Let's see if this phone can get to things. That is not... Okay, yeah, that's spelled correctly. Google.com. Google.com loads up just fine. I'll set the Atrix aside for now. And we can share our location. So if we wanted to check out something else, say, uh, I don't know, Samsung.com. I'm not familiar with the swipe keyboard either. But uh, Samsung.com, now tethering over our Atrix data connection, we can clearly see that we have this up and running. So really, really cool stuff and all free. No need to add the tethering package. So remember, that was thanks to Fixter from XDADevelopers.com. The Wi-Fi hotspot works perfectly and uh, that's how you do it. You simply add another access point name. Check us out at MobileTechVideos.com. We're going to be popping out a lot of videos for the Atrix uh, and we're very excited about this device. Um, stay tuned and uh, thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe if you like the content. We appreciate our subscribers. We're getting close to a thousand and getting close to 300,000 total video views. And uh, if you'd like to donate, we really appreciate that as well. So if this video helped you and saved you time and or money, be sure to donate. Our donate link is in the description below. So uh, you can get all that and more as well as all the settings that we just talked about in the description below. So thanks for joining us and good luck.